so hey guys welcome back once again and in today's video i'm gonna talk about one of the extension in stable diffusion automatic 1111 which is very useful for those who don't want to learn prompt okay for those who don't want to generate prompts and don't want to learn prompts in detail so this video is very useful for them so let's get started so first of all let me tell you i was just trying one of the best model one of the highest rated model in civet ai right now okay it's dream shaper that is one of the highest rated model also art and eros is also one of the best model right now you can see both of them are around 30k downloads okay just it's 47 rating and this is 49 rating so i just wanted to try dream shape as it is highest rated right now and i just wanted to extract some good results out of this okay so let me quickly show you the images that i generated using dream shaper and the prompt generator extension okay first of all let me show you the result So guys, these were the results that I generated using Dream Shaper model in Automatic 1111. And let me tell you, this was all just because of one thing that was prompt generator so as i told you earlier that prompt generator extension is not for those who want to learn prompt and those who want to create prompt on their own okay so this extension is for those who want to like generate images quickly and get a good result out of it okay first of all let me tell you that you will definitely get good results out of it okay so as you have already seen the images okay so let me show you how to get it first of all go on to extension go on to available load from over here okay and and you will get list of extensions available just download this extension okay prompt generator extension from this available list okay and just install it after installing it just click on to apply and restart ui okay that's it and it will create a tab over here so this is basically how prompt generator look like okay you can clearly see over here so this is start of the prompt here you need to add couple of words that you need to generate okay just a couple of words you need to generate what you need to generate and these are the setting temperature max length and top k i think so max length is the max length of the prompt first of all i never messed with this setting just kept it as it is we'll definitely go into deep into next video but yeah just keep as it is because i already got a good results out of this i just kept it as it is okay the next thing is that how many to generate so this is actually the, num the number of prompts that it will suggest you okay just like if you go on to five prompt then it will give you five list of prompts okay so that's it how it works so if you go on to like three one so it will only give you one if you go on to two it will give you two so this is the list of prompt that it will give you and use blacklist are uh, these are the blacklist words i think so that it will ignore the blacklist word if you have added blacklist okay and the next thing is there are two models one is generate using fred zhang seven and second is generate using magic prompt this is very useful i think so this generates uh like long prompts and this model will just add couple of words to it let me quickly show you the example first of all let's try this model okay this model and let's see what it will generate so now let me tell you how to use this here you just type the starting of the prompt okay just like i was just generating angel of horror and that i was just using this prompt and just generate just click on generate using fred zang okay first let's try this so after clicking onto this you can see over here it generated five prompts you can clearly see there are five prompts generated over here one two three four five because i selected five prompts okay so let me click quickly select three over here and let's generate using three prompts and let's see okay so it takes couple of time and see this there are three prompts generated so now let me tell you how to use this first of all we are using this model first of all and let me tell you how to use this you can see so you don't need to copy this prompt first of all you don't need to copy this prompt you, they, you will see over here send which prompt okay just type in one or whatever the number you want two or like three okay whatever the number you want like we generated three prompts let's go on to like first prompt we will go on to first prompt and let's send it to text to image okay and after you click on set text to image it will automatically generate over here so this is the prompt that is already sent over here from this tab prompt generator so now let's generate and let's see what result do we get okay so now as you can see this is the result that we got pretty good result as it was using white robe on the prompt so this is this result is pretty good and if you like this kind of image then you can generate even more images okay just click on generate okay if you like this style you can click on generate even more okay so now you can see it's generating even more 
so this is the second image that we got as you can clearly see this is the second image that we got i just pretty like this style okay so if you don't like this style you can go on to prompt generator once again and if you want to try the another prompt just click on to two over here just click on to two and just send it to text to image then it will load the second prompt over here directly and let's try to generate and let's see what result do we get so as you can see it's pretty amazing i just love this style as well and with this like prompt generator you can get consistency like like consistency like this okay let me pretty quickly show you that images i generated with one style okay so this way the images as you can see this way the images that i generated with consistent style couple of images as you can see the style it maintained like uh it was pretty much consistent over every image you can see these images couple of these images like so this is very good to like get consistent style like now let's try now let's try a couple of images to generate with this style and let's see what result do we get as you can see it maintained like pink style and something like wings and all it's better to get like consistent style okay so i just loved this prom generator for this thing first of all let's generate one more images and let's go on to like third prompt okay as you can see over here it's pretty similar to like earlier image as well almost pink style there might be something over going on over here purple pink as you can see over here purple pink orange so it's the style that it's using and it's pretty much amazing now if you don't like this style then you can go on to ahead as well and you can use third prompt as well just click on to three over here and just send your text to image and just try to generate okay over here so now as you can see it's pretty much different than first two prompts okay see this over here let's generate couple of images here as well and let's see what images does it generate so as you can see the style it's pretty much maintaining the style okay so now let's try something different okay something different over here and let's try to generate okay okay so now let's try something different like female cyberpunk character and let's see what result do we get let's try to generate with this model itself okay three prompts and let's try to generate and let's see what result do we get okay so these are the prompts that we got let's try the first prompt let's type one over here and let's send it to text to image and let's try to generate and let first of all let's do it like 768 some portrait style and let's see what result do we get so here you can see this is the result that we got i just don't like this style over here i just don't like this style i will check one more time and just check on to like next prompt as well i didn't like this style so this is how you if you don't like this style then you can check another style as well another prompt as well okay so let's try one more images and let's see let's go on to like another prompt so you can see over here this is i think so this is pretty good i think so i you, you can like this style as well but for my preference i just don't like this style so now what i will do is that i will just go on to prompt generator once again i will try the second prompt as well okay now the second prompt and let's see let's try okay you can clearly see it's pretty much amazing uh something like red black style because i already read it was like red and black color scheme you can see over here from dark soul okay so i just pretty like this style so you can generate as much in image as you want from this style let's try to generate another image as well and let's see what result do we get oh as you can see pretty much dark dark theme red and black theme you can clearly see something cyberpunk going on over here this is how you use this prompt generator and it's pretty much easy to use and for those who don't want to like work on with prompts so this is the way you can work it with easily let's try the another prompt as well third prompt and let's try to generate so that's it what i just wanted to say for you if you don't want to work on prompts like don't want to generate prompts then you can easily get prompts from prompt generator extension and you can try various prompts and see the result if you like the result and you can generate more images as you can clearly see over here this is pretty amazing result you can clearly see i just love this image as well so that you can generate more and more and more and use using the same prompt okay you can clearly see this is how you use it if you don't want to like generate and work with prompt and don't want to study prompt okay so that's how you use it and pretty much amazing with like if you want to test models as well pretty quickly you can see the result okay pretty amazing and yeah definitely yeah worth to try and and you should give it a try of prompt generator okay so that's it for today that's it that i want to say you and yeah pretty much amazing result with dream shaper as well as you have already seen the images that i generated some of my favorite images that i generated earlier okay so this is how you use prompt generator and yeah pretty much amazing that's it for today i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys